Yes. Uh, hi, Ritaraj. Good evening, sir. Hi, good evening. Okay, so like uh, before we start, uh, just tell me what is your gate rank, from sir. which college you have got uh, this call, and in which specialization? Oh yes, sir. Like uh, my gate rank is one zero six zero three, and uh, I got a call for PhD in geotechnical engineering from IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay. Yes. Sir. Okay. When is your interview date? So interview date is like uh, they have not mentioned yet, but it will be um, like in between twelve to fourteenth. Twelve to fourteenth of May. Okay. Yes. Sir. Take care. Fine. Okay, Ritraj. Uh, tell me something about yourself. Yes, sir. Like, uh, so um, I am basically from Udaipur, Rajasthan. Uh, Udaipur. I have done. My, okay. Yes, sir. Hmm. I have done my secondary and senior secondary education from Udaipur only, and like uh, I have completed my graduation from NIT Andhra Pradesh in civil engineering uh, hmm. with a CGPA of eight point one six. During my BTEC curriculum, I have gone through two major internship. One was with the CPWD, like uh, where I worked uh, on a project uh, for the pre preliminary construction stage of uh, uh, I am Udaipur, and where I learned some basic stuff like how the project used to start. And my another internship was with the IIT Guwahati as a summer research intern, like mm -hmm. where I worked upon a project uh, based on the negative skin friction on pile foundation. And along with that, uh, I have also done some. Uh, two publications uh, like I have uh, presented one con paper in one of the conference in NIT Jamshedpur, and my another paper is in process. Like the abstract is uh, completed, and like the work is uh, almost completed, and the paper is going to be submitted by the end of this month. Okay, so what is the title of this uh, uh, present uh, paper? First paper. First paper was uh, like uh, it was a review paper. So mm -hmm. the paper like the project which I was doing in the IIT Guwahati. So mm -hmm. uh, the uh, like uh, shielding of piles from negative skin friction. So uh, that was the state of art review, negative skin friction on piles. Okay, okay. state of the art. Okay, fine. Yes, yes, yes. And the second paper, what is its title? And second paper was uh, like fine for a numerical bed modeling based project. Uh, like it was uh, three dimension finite element modeling uh, for the calculation of negative skin friction in pile. Okay. Yes. Negative skin friction. Okay, Ritraj, that that's great. That's great. If you have publications, that's that is very good. Okay, fine. Uh, so, uh, like, tell me, you are from Udaipur. Yes, sir. Like, what kind of soil do you find in Rajasthan? Sir, in Rajasthan, it's basically the sandy soil is available. Yes. Okay, sandy soil. Yes. Sir. Can you tell me something about uh, the type of piles based on their uh, action? The type of piles? Based on their action. Okay, sir. So, like, uh, majorly they are categorized into two parts, like end bearing piles or floating piles. Hmm. So, end bearing piles used to transfer the load from the superstructure to the hard strata. And, hmm. like, uh, the floating piles used to resist the load from the superstructure with the help of the frictional. Resistance available around the periphery of the pile. Okay, so uh, like, do you need pile foundation in Rajasthan? So pile foundation in Rajasthan. Oh. So it what, depends. What is the depth of hard strata in Rajasthan? What do you think? What is the depth of hard strata? Depth of hard strata. So you can go precisely Udaipur. You are from Udaipur, so you must be knowing this. What is the depth of hard strata in Udaipur? Yes, sir. Like I'll talk about my home only. So, hmm. like uh, I got the hard strata was available at ten to twelve feet only from ten to twelve feet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for uh, typical Udaipur, the, the value ranges between five to eight meters. Okay. Okay. It ranges between five to eight meters. Sure, sir. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so uh, tell me what is the difference between infiltration and percolation? Infiltration and percolation. So, so uh, let me recall, sir. I'll give you. Yeah.
So infiltration is the process where the water used to pass uh, through the voids of the soil and mm -hmm. it reaches to the groundwater table and sure. uh, and percolation is basically the transfer of water mm -hmm. i'm not exactly aware about the percolation okay no problem uh, what are atterberg limits so atterberg limits are the uh, consistency limits uh, these are mm -hmm. used to uh, define the at which state the like uh, how the shear strength will vary with the change in uh, water content okay uh, give me the formula of simpson's one third rule so simpson's one third rule so uh, this is based on your paper right you said that uh, numerically based 3d fdm yes sir 3d based sir like we have done on the software directly for the finite okay, directly which software you have used So Plexi 3D and uh, okay, like okay, okay. we are working. It's an LCPC software. All right, all right. Yes. Sir. Okay, so uh, fine, fine, fine. Okay, so uh, after the above limit, tell me what is the difference between water content and degree of saturation? Water content and degree of saturation. So water content is basically the ratio of the um, weight of water to the weight of solids, and so mm -hmm. degree of saturation is the Volume ratio of the volume of water with respect to the volume of volts. Volume of volts. Good. ठीक है. Uh, what is the use of light compaction test and heavy compaction test? Where do we use this? Uh, light compaction test and heavy compaction test. Hmm. Okay. So. light comp this compaction test are used to determine uh, the void ratios of the soil mm, okay like uh, we so we we calculate the load bearing capacity of a pipe okay yes sir so there is static method and there are dynamic methods yes sir okay so in static method for sand like uh, we use a factor called delta which is yes, 2 by 3 5 or let's say 3 by 4 5 you must have heard of it yes sir So what is actually phi? So it's the internal friction angle of the soil. Okay, and what is delta? So delta. So delta is the interface angle between the pile and the soil. Basically. Interface angle between pile and soil. So like it depends on the interface properties between mm -hmm. the soil and the pile. Okay. ठीक है गिव मी थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अंडर रिम फाइल थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अंडर रिम फाइल सो अंडर रिम फाइल प्रोवाइड हायर फ्रिक्शन रेजिस्टेंस एज बिकॉज द फ्रिक्शन एट द लाइक द फेरी फेरी एरिया एट द बॉटम यूज टू इंक्रीज एंड So I'm not able to recall at this. Okay, so in soil mechanics, uh, which is your uh, best portion in geotechnical engineering? So, in geotechnical engineering, so basically, so actually, they have I have gone through all the parts, but uh, yeah. I like have from where I can ask you a question. So. Like consolidation, will be fine. Okay. So, have you heard of this term called MV? Yes, sir. MV, MV. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that MV? So, it's a volumetric coefficient of the soil. And what does it mean? So, it is basically the. You know, change in void ratio with respect to like with the change in the uh, soil height or like the layer height uh, stratification of the soil like okay okay uh, tell me what is normally consolidated soil and over consolidated soil so in the over consolidated soil sir like the 
past pressure of the soil is greater than the present pressure of the soil and in the normally consolidated soil like the present overburden pressure is greater than the past overburden pressure so are these uh, different soils or same soil so soils are same but uh, it's basically like the nature of the load or like the uh, external pressure they have gone through in the past okay yes theek hai so tell me uh, what are the uh, two assumptions involved in terzaghi's one dimension consolidation theory mm. terzaghi's one dimension consolidation theory hmm. I am not able to recall. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, uh, this was my last part, last question. Okay, see, you have a feedback. Pe aate. Yes, sir. What is the best thing that you have publications? Yes, sir. Okay. One is published, 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 one अब आपका इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट हो सकता है प्रोफेसर पूछें हो सकता है प्रोफेसर ना पूछें यस सर ओके इसको थोड़ा सा इंप्रूव किया जा सकता है ओके okay, जैसे यू टेल देम अगर वो पूछते हैं कि टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट योरसेल्फ तो आप बोलोगे सर माय नेम इज ऋतुराज एंड आई एम फ्रॉम दिस सिटी आई हैव डन माय क्लास 10th एंड 12th फ्रॉम दिस स्कूल विद दिस मच ऑफ परसेंटेज एंड आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय बीटेक फ्रॉम एनआईटी आंध्र प्रदेश विद अ सीपीआई ऑफ 8.1 ओके एंड देन यू से दैट in my btech i did uh, two internships one in cpwd uh, for the preliminary survey of this iim udaipur and yes, the other one in internship in iit guwahati yes so that was correct ye ye bahut acha uske baad aapko ye bolna hai ki i have two publications like first is published and the second one is under process yes so remember that jo aapke papers publish hue hain mm. usse 100% question rahenge sure sir 100% question rahenge jaisa aapka ek review paper hai ओके शील्डिंग ऑफ दिस नेगेटिव इंफेक्शन पाइप जो भी आपका टॉपिक था यस सर इससे 100% क्वेश्चन रहेगा 100% श्योर sure, इसको एक बार पढ़ देना आपके पेपर को यस ठीक है आपने क्या अजम्पशंस लिए हैं उसके अंदर कौन सा सॉफ्टवेयर लिया है क्या-क्या चीजें करी उससे क्वेश्चन रहेगा सेकंड वाले से भी क्वेश्चन रहेगा डेफिनेटली जो आपका सेकंड अभी चल रहा है 3D FM नेगेटिव इंफेक्शन वाला सर आई आल्सो फॉरगॉट टू मेंशन लाइक आई एम आल्सो डूइंग अ जॉब राइट नाउ अबाउट दैट ओके तो आपका बीटेक कब हुआ था बीटेक सर 2020 में हुआ था 2020 में ओके यस 2021 में आप पीएचडी के लिए अप्लाई करते हैं यस सर ठीक है तो आपको ये एक्सप्लेन करना पड़ सकता है प्रोफेसर पूछ सकते हैं कि आपने एक साल क्या किया यस सर ओके जैसे आप जॉब कर रहे हो फाइन ठीक है आप जॉब कर रहे हो तो आप से ही पूछेंगे कि आप सीधा पीएचडी क्यों कर रहे हैं व्हाई नॉट एमटेक यस सर सेकंड क्वेश्चन बन सकता है कि आप एमटेक क्यों नहीं कर रहे आप सीधा पीएचडी क्यों कर रहे हैं Sure, उसके बाद में आप ये क्वेश्चन पूछ सकते हैं कि पीएचडी के बाद आप अपने आप को कहा देखते हो पांच साल बाद sure, okay, ये कुछ सिंपल 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 क्वेश्चन बनते हैं जो प्रोफेसर देखना चाहते हैं कि कहीं आप वापस गवर्नमेंट जॉब की तैयारी में तो नहीं जाओगे कुल मिला yeah. मतलब ये होता है और क्या yeah. आपका इंटरेस्ट वाकई भी रिसर्च में है ये चीज जानने के लिए और बाकी आपका ठीक है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है टेक्निकल टेक्निकल पार्ट टेक्निकल थोड़ा सा देखो थोड़ा सा करना पड़ेगा बट मेन पार्ट ये मैंने आपसे ज्यादा इसलिए नहीं पूछा है क्योंकि आपके सिलेक्शन के चांसेस बहुत ब्राइट इसलिए बिकॉज यू हैव पब्लिकेशन बिलीव मी प्रोफेसर को पब्लिकेशन बहुत पसंद होते हैं okay. अगर आपकी पब्लिकेशन है और आपको टेक्निकल थोड़ा थोड़ा सा भी आता है hmm. तो काम चल जाता है प्रोफेसर okay. मैंने आपसे जो बाद में चीजें पूछी है ना लाइट कॉम्पेक्शन टेस्ट हैवी कॉम्पेक्शन टेस्ट ये जस्ट आपको बताने के लिए कि आप एक बार रिव्यू कर दो आपकी सॉइल मैकेनिक जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियर को एक बार पढ़ लो ओके बाकी आपसे जो मेजर क्वेश्चन रहेंगे वो सारे के सारे आपके पेपर से और बीटेक प्रोजेक्ट और इन सब से रहेंगे ओके okay. और बाकी आपसे पता नहीं पूछेंगे नहीं पूछेंगे बट इससे क्वेश्चन 100% आए एंड सर लाइक माय फाइनल ईयर प्रोजेक्ट वाज आल्सो बेस्ड ऑन जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड लाइक इट वाज द कंपैरिजन लाइक इट वाज द एनवायरमेंटल प्लस द जियो टेक्निकल प्रोजेक्ट लाइक इट वाज लाइक वी हैव कंपेयर्ड द स्टील पाइल एंड द कंक्रीट पाइल एंड 
it was the life cycle assessment like uh, how okay. the uh, since from the starting of the manufacturing till the construction time like how mm-hmm. it will impact the environment mm-hmm. so like my whole thesis like we have dedicated so much time for that thesis also during our final year project yes. so you will have questions from that also yes. overall your questions will be based from your btech project yes. what what internship you have done might might be possible like if they are interested in internship so they they might ask but the answer are less first yes. is your btech project sorry uh, for you first questions will be first few questions will be from papers sure. what publications you have okay. secondly you will have questions on btech project what project you have done and if they get any further time they might ask about like uh, your uh, this internship and and something okay. and if finally they are very much interested then they will ask you technical questions okay sir but professor do not have that much time that they'll go through all of the okay so aapse major question aapke paper ke bare mein aur aapka btech project ke bare mein rahega okay isko ek baar acche se pad dena aap intro mein jao uske pehle definitely aap, apne jo jo kiya hai usko just go through it every each and every line just go through your thesis part and whatever is there yes okay and one more thing is that you do not bluff agar aapko nahi aati hai koi cheez just say it very bluntly i am sorry sir i don't do okay. not take time jaise maine aapse pucha what is your favorite topic in soil mechanics तो आपको इतना अटकना नहीं है लाइक यू टूक ट्वेंटी थर्टी सेकंड टू टेल मी कि मेरा फेवरेट टॉपिक ये ये है कि नहीं ऐसे नहीं ऐसे नहीं दे शुड बी वन टॉपिक जो आपको डायरेक्टली पता होना चाहिए प्रोफेसर पूछ सकते हैं व्हाट इज अ फेवरेट टॉपिक श्योर सर ओके या फिर आप सीधा बोल सकते हो इन सॉइल मैकेनिक सर आई एम कम्फर्टेबल इन ओनली दिस पार्ट तो आपसे क्वेश्चन सीधा उसी पार्ट में पूछेंगे Okay. Asa, I'll try with the deep foundation only as my projects are also on the pile Haan, so, go, so go with just deep foundation Yes. Tell professors that I am not good at any. My inclination is towards deep foundation. Okay, sir. So they will ask you questions only from deep foundation. Sure, sir. Okay. Okay. So, अच्छा है कोई problem नहीं है. Monday को आप लोग call करो. Monday को एक snap और करते हैं. Okay, sir. Okay. Monday को एक और करते हैं. So अच्छा हो जाएगा. Like uh, the question which they are going to ask, like why I want to pursue PhD. Hmm. Like my earlier plans was to go for the MS, but uh, hmm. like uh, due to some personal problems, like I have dropped that plan. Like hmm. and like I have done this publication only to make a good profile for the MS only. Hmm. So like should I say like uh, as I am not able to do the MS, so I am joining. नहीं 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 बिल्कुल नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं ऐसा नहीं उनको ऐसा बोलो कि sir I was literally interested interested in research work only. But okay. due to some reasons, uh, financial and other reasons, yes. I had to go and do some some sort of job job so that I can make a livelihood. Yes. Sir. And now the situation has improved. Now now I have got time and I do not have much responsibilities on me. So I want to con- continue with my career. So I want to continue again with my research as a PhD scholar. Sure. Sir. Okay. इस तरीके से बोलना ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने MS के लिए prepare किया था उनको नहीं बताना. Okay. Sir. कोई चीज़ नहीं. वो ये जाए वो ये सुनना चाहते हैं कि पीएचडी आपका पहला प्रायोरिटी है okay. उनको सेकंड प्रायोरिटी नहीं चाहिए आप जिसके लिए भी जा रहे हो जैसे आप एमटेक के लिए जाते हो या पीएचडी के लिए जाते हो तो उनको okay. ऐसा बताओ कि हाँ दिस इज माय फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी पीएचडी मेरा पहला प्रायोरिटी मैं इसी को करना चाहता हूँ तो वो आपको लेके बेस्ट बेस्ट आपका सबसे अच्छा पार्ट ये कि आपके पास पब्लिकेशन है आपके पास पेपर है प्रोफेसर को ये बहुत अच्छा लगता है तो वो आपको हंड्रेड लेंगे ही बस ये नहीं बोलना कि मेरे को एमएस करना था वो नहीं हुआ तो आई एम गोइंग फॉर पीएस बिल्कुल डेफिनेटली बिल्कुल नहीं ठीक है ओके रितुराज सो यू टेक केयर यस यू टेक केयर एंड जस्ट लेट मी नो व्हेनेवर यू हैव प्रिपेयर डेफिनेटली